my god. Good morning, guys. I figured I'd vlog today since I am leaving the house. And I haven't done that very often since I've been home. So we're just gonna see where the day takes us. Or maybe days. I might vlog tomorrow too, but I figured this would give me motivation to do some of the stuff that I need to do as well. Also, just wanna say a huge thank you to Revolve for sponsoring today's video. There will be a haul at some point for lots of cute new stuff. Now we're just getting ready because I have an orthodontist appointment to go get my Invisalign and I'm so freaking excited. I've been waiting for this moment since two years ago whenever I lost my retainer and had a like tantrum for days about it. So I simply cannot wait. First we're going to Starbucks because holy shit. Well actually first, I'm not a coffee drinker. I prefer energy drinks now. I don't know why. I go through like periods where I'm like a coffee drinker and when I'm not. So I haven't been to Starbucks in so long. But one thing that I am a slut for is any kind of pastry, dessert, um, bread, loaf. I could eat dessert for every single meal. Sometimes I do. And if y'all saw on my TikTok, I just got back from London. Let me just say, there's nothing in this world that's meant for me as much as afternoon tea. That experience, that, like why is, why is that not a thing here? The little mini like pastries midday, like the tiny little cucumber sandwich, like was really doing it for me. Anyways, my point is that I've been craving the pumpkin loaf from Starbucks because it's seasonal. And it's literally like my favorite thing ever in the world. And whenever I was in Paris, that I was craving it so bad, like that is all I wanted. And anytime I'm traveling, it feels like a crime to go to a, a Starbucks instead of like somewhere local, just for like the experience. But like, especially in Paris, I could feel the workers at Starbucks judging me. Cause not only am I American, but I am also now getting Starbucks instead of the cute little coffee shop across the street. But the Starbucks in Paris were also like A1, like had like waffles and pancakes and like shit that like they don't have here. Specifically, they didn't have the pumpkin bread. And it got to a point where like I was stopping at every single Starbucks that we saw and like I, I like made Kate. I was like, we have to stop because I have to have this pumpkin bread. Long story short, did not get any pumpkin bread. Still have not had any pumpkin bread. So that's what we're doing first. So think like, do people that actually live in London and like grew up in London, like do y'all actually do afternoon tea or is that like just like touristy bullshit? Thank you for choosing Starbucks. My name's Annalise. What can I get started for you today? Hi, can I just do a pumpkin loaf and grande ice cream tea? Okay, anything else? No, that's all. Perfect, 747, we'll see you at the window. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I was so nervous they weren't gonna have it, y'all. Thank God. Yeehaw. Y'all, I'm so early for this appointment and I know that they're gonna be, I am literally so late every single time and they always text me and they're like, are you on your way? Are you on your way? Every time I walk in, they're always so pissed. Like they're always just like, like they put up with it cause they're just like, what are we gonna do? Like this fucking bitch. Every time they're like, you really need to be on time for these appointments. And I'm like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. So they're gonna be real happy that I'm early. First, taste test. Oh, this better be like everything I've ever dreamed of, please. Oh my God, it's so good. Um, okay, so they're on. I don't think you can tell. She said to like mold, actually no, before I forget, I literally mean to say this in every single vlog and I've never said it, but okay. So I film all my videos on my phone and that's probably not gonna change anytime soon. Cause I think like it's fine, like whatever. If the quality is like really bad for you, make sure you change the quality settings like on the video, on this video, like right here, there's like a settings button and change it to the HD version or like the highest version that it goes. Every time I click on my own YouTube videos to watch, it's always in like the lower quality and I always have to change it. And a few people have like DM'd me and been like, are you gonna get a camera? Cause like your quality shit. But yeah, so I just wanna make sure that y'all are aware of that. Cause I wasn't aware of that until a few months ago. Anyways, back to my life altering moment. First of all, they feel fine. It's gonna take some getting used to, but I have had braces. I've had all the appliances. I've had the herps, the expander, the everything. I've had my mouth torn to shreds over things fixing my teeth. I have had cavities. I have had drills in my mouth. When I tell you, nothing compared to what I experienced today. So I get there and I think they're just gonna like hand me a packet of these. And they're like, we actually have to do some polishing on your teeth. And I'm like, okay, let me know why I thought polishing meant like cleaning. Next thing I know, I hear the worst 
sound I've ever heard in my life. And homegirl starts sawing at my teeth. Sawing. Saw. I'm like, what? What is going on? Like, apparently, to make these work, they had to make extra room in between my teeth so that they had room to shift. So she had to like shave off like a millimeter in between each of my teeth. She does that with like the little drill. It was uncomfortable and like just kind of like eerie, like nails on a chalkboard and it was just like, ew. And I thought that was it. And she takes what I assume to be the thickest grain sandpaper known to man. Like I'm pr like, if I had to guess, I would guess that it was sandpaper. She starts flossing my teeth with it. Oh, I have a very high pain tolerance. I do not cry over pain ever. I started crying and it's like touching my gums. Like, oh my gosh. And I was like profusely bleeding and I could taste it in my mouth. And the, the girl, like the dental assistant or whatever, uh, whenever she's like taking me up to the front, she's like, you might want to go to the bathroom and uh, wash out your trays before you leave. And I was like, oh, and she holds up a mirror just bloody <laughs> oh my god <laughs> literally the most disgusting thing i've ever seen in my life but we got everything and i'm just glad it's over to say the least all right got a little ready for the day i don't want to go vintage shopping because i haven't been to any places like in dallas but vintage shopping means that we need a good outfit because the people that go vintage and thrift shopping um always have good outfits and are just like way cooler than i am. so luckily we have a bunch of new stuff to choose from because my revolve order came a few days ago of course i'm going to show you guys everything i got Obviously, fall fashion is here and i love turtlenecks i love the look of turtlenecks i love the way they make my face look but sometimes well depending on where you live sometimes the fall is still like 80 degrees like where it is right here doesn't mean that we can't dress for fall so i got these turtleneck bodysuits that i can wear under stuff but they're sleeveless so they're not too hot even in the winter time like even when it is cold sometimes i just like if i'm wearing so many layers i just feel like really constricted and like bulky so i even would wear these like under a sweatshirt in the winter time with like a coat over it i'm not gonna try these on because if i put on a turtleneck i'm committing to that turtleneck for the entirety of the day because of the amount that it just it's too much it's too much obviously mini skirts are trending right now and like micro mini skirts and whatnot and a lot of the ones that i found and that i have are just a little too micro mini i'm trying to find a leather one i saw this on revolve and i did not have any hope for this at all. I fully expected this to arrive and for me to just be taking an Instagram photo in it um, because I thought it was gonna be too short. It's like the best leather skirt I own, period. Like not micro mini, not pleated, best leather skirt I own. It's really hard for me to think that fake leather looks just like not like fake leather. Like some of my fake leather stuff, it almost looks like, I don't know what the word is, like tacky almost, especially faux leather skirts. And this is the, it's like, it's so good, you guys. Like it is so good. And I already know that I'm gonna get so much wear out of this. Oh, it's also a skirt, which is why I'm like comfortable wearing it, especially with pleated stuff. Like I'm always, cause it like flares out a little bit. And if it's too short, then it's just like, it makes me really uncomfortable, um, but it's a skirt, so. Don't have to worry about that. Oh, and then I got another skirt that's just like a regular material, like like a like blazer material. Just to have like a plain black skirt to go with anything because sometimes I don't want to wear a skirt. Sometimes I want to feel like my outfit is not going to move in the middle of dinner or like I'm too scared to stand up in the middle of dinner. It has these buttons on the top. Very cute. Next we have the sweater. I think this is what I want to wear today. It's a really nice material. It's like a knit sweater, but it's not the knit that like catches on things, which drives me insane. And then most importantly, the sleeves. I can't say no to good sleeve detailing. Like I saw this and I immediately had to have it. Okay, this caught my attention because one, it's a turtleneck. It's sheer and it's like really long, but it's not a dress. It's just like a long top. Um, and the model on the website had it like belted. Then was also wearing the same color bralette underneath. It gave it like a really cool layering effect. But then I also saw that they had 
like the same shirt but like as a button up and i couldn't pick which one i like better so i got both but i think this will also be really cute for layering um by itself during the winter time i don't have very much gray clothing period but I definitely don't have a gray button up and then the other thing i think i want to wear today is a pair of leather pants shocker but they're leather cargo pants and again revolve really impressing me on their fake leather can't tell i wish you could feel this like they're heavy and what drives me crazy like a lot of my faux leather stuff is just like feels like paper thin because it's hard to do i guess but these are like such nice quality and they're super long which is perfect for me since i am tall yeah so i'm gonna pick out an outfit probably do the outfit picking portion on tiktok as i get ready with me because my tiktok has been so dry recently i'll show you guys what we end up with all right here's the fit hi gizmo Hi. So we're in the leather cargo pants and then the sweater. Look at the sweater, guys. It's like something about the material and the cut and like the mock neck. I just love it. And then just paired with some Converse and Gizmo. I will link this outfit as well as everything else that I showed you from Revolve in the description. Now let's go shopping. So I have been gone for hours, for uh, all day shopping. I had such high hopes because I've never been like vintage shopping around here. I did not find a single thing. I went to three different places. I'm like shocked how unsuccessful like couldn't even vlog anything because there wasn't even anything that i was like oh should i get this but anyways i just got home also it's seven o'clock right now and it's already dark outside which means it's like starting to get dark earlier and as much as i love the nighttime and as much as i love like staying up the number one thing that i hate about the winter is that it gets dark so early i already wake up so late so i only have like so much daytime to like spend or to like enjoy the sun and like eventually it's gonna start getting dark at like 4 p.m because of daylight savings that's enough complaining from me i think i'm gonna go get stuff for my halloween costume i'm gonna change into something comfy but i'm gonna be effie trinket for halloween and i'm so excited because i have not seen anybody ever do that and i'm really excited to make the costume i love making my own halloween costume like i thought about buying because i saw this dress on etsy that would be perfect for it but it was like 300 dollars, and i was like i'm not about to spend this much money on a halloween costume when i'm not even doing anything for halloween like I can make this shit. Hopefully that works out as well as last year's. Actually, the stuff that I ordered for this came, so let's see what we're working with. These are just accessories for once it's actually done. I didn't know if I'd want to <clears throat> do pearls. This choker. I guess we'll see. Okay, so I have a plan in my head. It seems relatively easy and like I could get it done fast because last year, I started my costume like a week in advance and I have um, two days to get this done. So I have, oh my gosh, I got this petticoat. Like, everything Effie wears is just like very extra. So I feel like if I just like do the absolute most, it's gonna be fine. I don't know why this is so big. around this butter knife please look at this this is this is what came i'm sorry did amazon run out of boxes why wow this is packaged like suspiciously like why is it so dense so here is my inspo um dress that i'm going for i believe the actual dress is alexander mcqueen so i'm trying to make a knockoff what like ten thousand dollar dress so this is the plan and don't ask me how my brain got here but th this is this is what's going on. I saw the dress and thought, you know, I can make that. If I really put some thought into it, I can make something similar. I'm looking at all the ruffles and I'm like, I'm gonna have to individually put all of these ruffles onto this whatever, and that's gonna take forever. So you might be wondering, oh, what is it that you're holding? I'm getting there, I'm getting there. It's a maternity photo shoot robe. <laughs> Literally, look how big this is. But it had the amount of material needed and it's already like 
Like I'm just gonna cut these off and like layer it into a dress. Am I a genius or what? We're just cutting all of the ruffles off. Guess no. It's my costume. I decided against using the other black skirt because it was just like, I don't know. This has enough volume on its own. So I'm gluing it onto like a random skirt that I found, except it's not really working. Bruh, it's like really not sticking. Like I might have to get like a needle and thread. Nice. I finished the skirt. This is literally, this is so cute. Ugh. Probably not the best shoes to have put on today. Oh my God, ew, ew, ew. So we gotta go to Hobby Lobby. So I think I wanna get spray fabric paint and make the dress like ombre or something. I don't really know. I literally just woke up, but I need to let these dry if I'm gonna use them. But I got these roses. I'm gonna spray paint black because I might put them on the dress, but I'm not really sure. This will do the second coat later. All right. So I gave her a little haircut just to give her some more shape. And then the bottom's drying right now. I just don't know if I want to do the top too, but here's the bottom. It's like almost dry, I think. It looks like burnt. Like maybe this is what Effie would have worn um, for the tribute ceremony. <gasps> guys, guys, it looks so good. I can't even believe it. I was really worried that it was gonna look like an arts and crafts project, but so I put these roses on these clips so that one, I can like, when I put it on, I can move them wherever I want and add or take them off. But also because like, I'm gonna keep this. Like this is actually like so cute. And like without the roses, low key, like I would buy that, like. But I've been uploading like as I've been making this to TikTok, like videos of me making it. And literally one person has guessed even remotely close. Like one person said, this is giving Hunger Games, but nobody has said Effie Trinket, so. All right, same shit, different year. Doing absolutely nothing tonight, but I have zero problem with that. This costume definitely did not take as much effort as my Black Swan costume. I mean, what other occasion when I have to dress up as freaking Effie Trinket? And like, this shit's so fun. I could live for this shit. Anyways, I guess I didn't show y'all the end product. I'm sure you've seen it somewhere at this point. I put the flowers on, sprayed the bottom, flower in the hair. And then I ended up not using the chokers that I got. And then I just put tool. I'm not even gonna take any pictures in this, which is kind of a shame. It's like, this is so cute. I'll probably just take some mirror selfies and go to sleep because it's three in the morning. But another reason I'm not gonna take photos in this is because it's low key, like really cute, not as a costume. And I'm not even kidding you. I might wear this like somewhere. So we'll see about that. Uh -huh.